Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to the Weather Guru's channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me. I want to give you an update on Tropical Depression 14 that's simmering in the Caribbean Sea right now. It's making its journey through the Caribbean Sea westward at about 18 miles an hour, moving at a pretty fast clip. The current winds are 35 miles an hour, and the minimum pressure is holding steady at 1,007 millibars here. Now, this system is looking for more and more uh, ominous meaning that it's looking more and more ominous to make a landfall either in South Texas and the Brownsville area south of Corpus Christi or it could even swing a little north and uh, as the Bermuda High is one of the steering influences it could even hit far as north as from Houston Beaumont over to the northwest Louisiana coast Lake Charles. In any event uh, the storm is looking a little bit better organized, and I'll show you the radar here of it. This is what it looks like right now. A broad area of tropical wave, a broad area of convection on all four quadrants of this system. And um, we, I do anticipate to become a tropical storm. The next name storm will be Laura. Laura. If it does become tropical storm Laura, it probably won't be able. To, it probably won't. That won't be on the Hurricane Center's advisory till probably uh, the 11 p.m. advisory tonight at 11 p.m. or in the morning, the 8 a.m. advisory tomorrow morning, Friday morning. But the system is looking better organized. You can see the very good inflow, outflow, a little bit ragged because it's battling some dry air that is just to the north toward the Yucatan Peninsula and also a little bit of wind shear, heavy wind shear in the western Gulf of Mexico. But that's later on down the road. Right now, uh, Tropical Depression 14 does look like it is moving with some good circulation and we, I do anticipate it to become a tropical storm, Laura. And that is, they have it, the Hurricane Center has the intensity forecast increasing to 40 miles an hour within 12 hours. So that means in the next day or so, tonight, as I say uh, in the prediction, tonight at 11 p.m., our tropical storm Laura, it will be upgraded to Laura. That's our next name system. And as you can see, Jamaica's been given some heavy rain here on the east side, the northeast side of this system. And the Grand Cayman Islands also have been experiencing some heavy rain here on the northern end of the system as uh, Tropical Depression 14 makes its way. Now, the water temperatures here are very warm, of course. That's another factor that, that is going to be in favor of strengthening of this system. Not by much, but by a little bit. Water temperatures have been running about 87 to 88 degrees here in the northern Caribbean, the western Caribbean Sea. And the Gulf of Mexico, of course, is higher, 88 degrees and higher. But, like I said, there's some inhibiting factors as this system heads west. The Yucatan Peninsula here. As it, if it interacts with that, which chances, high chances that it will, there's over a 50% chance that it will interact with that land. If it interacts with it down south here, closer to Belize and some of those higher terrain mountains, that will disrupt the flow of this system. So that's something that's working against it. It's land interaction. And also just the internal structure of the system. If it doesn't have tightly round, um, good inflow and outflow pattern, as a tropical storm and a close a good close low right now the hurricane hunters have found the close low but not a real tight close low that you would normally associate with a tropical storm or a hurricane that can also inhibit strengthening of the system now the wind shear is forecast to relax a little bit coming into tomorrow and i would agree with that but i don't think that uh the other aspect is going to relax a little bit the dry air and that's going to be something uh that's going to have this system is going to have to contend with as it heads into the Gulf of Mexico later this week, Sunday into Monday. And that's going to determine how strong it is. Right now, the Hurricane Center has it being a tropical storm throughout the lifespan here. Uh, we can take a look at the warning cones that they, put, that they put out here. And really, the concerns right now is from anywhere from Port Arthur, Galveston, Corpus Christi, and Brownsville, Texas, all the way over to Lake Charles and Shreveport and Baton Rouge. That is where the concerns is at for this system to come in. They have it forecast as a tropical storm all the way through Tuesday morning. So I believe a landfall is imminent along the U.S. coast. It's just a matter of the strength and intensity, which is going to be difficult to forecast because it depends on how long this system stays over the Yucatan Peninsula and what shape it comes out sunday night into monday morning into re-emerging into the gulf of mexico that's the most that's the question right there because we know the steering currents are already there there's a bermuda high that's staring it right into the gulf as well as a, a deep level trough um 
that is in the, that is suspended here across the southeast coast along and, and along with a stationary boundary. So that squeeze play between there is where the system is going. It's just a matter of how much wobble is going to where it wobbles to the east more toward Louisiana. Then that brings in more Mississippi and Alabama, especially if it has an east loaded system full of rain here. As you can see right now, the system is pretty well spread out in all quadrants. There is convection and showers. Um, but it's a little bit disorganized, like I said. So by tomorrow morning, it'll definitely be a tropical storm, Laura. I'm sorry about tonight. But uh, there's still some concerns. But it will be strengthening. I don't think it'll get to a hurricane or a minimal hurricane like the one that hit Corpus Christi last month. Um, Hannah, I believe it was. But definitely a strong tropical storm. Now, if if the dry air relaxes in the Gulf of Mexico and the wind shear relaxes in the Gulf of Mexico and the system structure comes out better than we expected out of the Yucatan Peninsula on that is on, uh, let's see, they have 8 a.m. Sunday. So, yeah, let's say let's say by Sunday afternoon, if it reemerges off the coast of Yucatan and still is intact after battling with the land and some of those mountains to the west of the uh, Bay of uh, to the east of the Bay of Campeche. If it comes out and the structure of the storm is still intact, then look for it to become a minimal hurricane before a category one hurricane that is before approaching land on sometime on Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon right now, based off the hurricane center's time frame. And uh, there is no, ch I don't think there's any chance of it really slowing down. The steering currents are pretty strong out there in the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. So this movement west at 18 miles an hour will continue. And then northwest, once it reemerges off the Yucatan Peninsula at whatever speed, 12 miles an hour could be 10, but it will be moving. This will not be a system that's going to be stalling out anywhere off the coast or hugging the coastline. It will not be one of those systems that will be doing that. And so keep checking back with us here at the Weather Guru channel. We will continue to bring you updates on Tropical Depression 14 and its imminent impacts for the Texas and Louisiana and possibly Mississippi coastlines. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon.